So the first year of a child's life is a time of exceptional growth. From the moment they're born till about four to six months, a baby normally doubles their birth weight. And it is quite normal also too for the baby to lose weight just uh, after birth because they are born with a lot of ex uh, extra fluid. So it's very normal for a baby to sort of lose a little bit of weight um, in the few days after birth and then gain them back quite quickly. And then by four to six months, depending on whether they're breastfed or formula fed, they will have doubled their birth weight. And by the 12 months or by one year, they will have actually tripled their birth weight. So that is really exceptionally <laughs> fast growth, accelerated growth in the first year. They also grow taller and heavier as well uh, each year. And sometimes it's, you know, if a, if a child gains more weight in proportion to their height, um, uh, you could look at it as maybe the fact that they're maybe overeating or they're not um, uh, exercising enough, they're not as active. And inversely, again, if a child doesn't gain enough weight in the first year compared to their height or throughout their childhood, that it could also be due to malnourishment. But one of the things, it's not only just in height and weight that the baby grows or the child grows, um, they also, there's, also the, there's also a lot of uh, physical ch um, changes in the childhood that are during childhood that are happening things like brain development um, the baby will the child will start to begin uh, develop their cognitive abilities they'll start to develop their language skills they lot they'll start to develop any emotional uh, emotions and also social development as they get older um, the nerves also will grow longer dendrites and axons. Um, so the nerve cells actually multiply dramatically during that time as well to create more, um, more connections as well. They have, um, there's exceptional growth in bone mass and muscle mass and bone density. And uh, also their organs will continue developing. So uh, especially things like reproductive organs, they continue developing until um, sort of uh, adolescence and adulthood. But a lot of the organs uh, already existing are uh, remarkably, remarkably similar to the adults in terms of their um, their structure but we've seen as before that some of them are still immature they have immature kidneys so we don't want to include lots of protein and lots of high salt in their diet when you're weaning we know that their gi tract is still developing um, as a child and it normally takes about even the microbiome takes about two years to grow to, div, to fully establish um, and then the reproductive organs are still growing and developing throughout childhood so it's really an exceptional time of growth development and it needs to be supported with the right nutrition.